Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to share with you how to use GoDaddy's Investor Edge tool. Uh, not many people really uh, know about this tool but I think you'll find it to be a benefit for you in terms of trying to find uh, domain names uh, to buy that are either expired or soon to be deleted and so if you go ahead and log into your GoDaddy account in most cases this is what most people's account look like so if you don't have uh, what's called the discount domain club so um, what we'll do I'll show you that here real quick this account that I'm logged into doesn't necessarily have it um, but if we show the menu here so we'll back up and click the menu and in GoDaddy's menu you basically have a couple of different options so from the domains then you have what's called the discount domain club which basically allows you to buy um, various domains at a discount uh, so just like the name uh, basically it's self-explanatory allows you to instead of pay you know 12 to 15 dollars um, it'll allow you to purchase domains uh, as low as 7.99 depending on the quantity but nevertheless if you don't have that then essentially what I want to show you is if you go to manage domains and once you get there if you go look under buy and sell you'll find what's called investors edge so go ahead and you have the Investor's Edge tool there and basically it'll take you to this page and so you can uh, search for domain names that are uh, of these extensions and so I'm just going to narrow it down to .com and you can exclude dashes, exclude numbers, um, hone in on various uh, you know different domains so if you know hey I want to look for domains that are 15 characters or less and if you only want to include uh, GoDaddy's expired domains only so you can see where it says like registry pending delete so that doesn't necessarily mean that that is a GoDaddy domain it just means that um, that this given domain is you know basically awaiting to be deleted from the registry so if we go in and let's just say we wanted to look up uh, something for let's just look up domain and we click search and essentially what this will do is now to search for the uh, for domains that start with the phrase domain um, and if you wanted to narrow it down to only be GoDaddy's then you can say I want to search and then you can see that you can see uh, the various domains that GoDaddy has uh, that are expired and you can see what those domains are uh, you can go through each domain and so essentially what then happens is if you wanted to you could then select and back order that domain um, I'm not going to go through it but essentially you could back order that domain and place a back order for it uh, if you wanted to and then um, likely is the case what would typically happen is it would put in a back order at probably like 10 to 15 dollars um, I think it's like it starts at 10 uh, but then basically when that domain goes into auction your back order is there now if you wanted to participate in the auction then you would need to go to um, GoDaddy domains their auction section uh, and so what I'll do I'll show you it um, let's see here if we can get to the auction section we'll go back to GoDaddy click the menu click domains head over into domain auction and then that way if you wanted to then you could actually participate and the same thing I mean you could come over to auctions but um, what I typically like about you know being over in the investor edge tool is a lot of times it's just a lot easier to go there and see and be able to search versus trying to do that type of a search and advanced search here uh, which you still you have a bit more uh, capabilities from the auction side but again you'll have to have an auction membership to be able to participate which um, 
you know, you can basically become a GoDaddy auction member for a little more than $4 a year. Uh, but nevertheless, if you didn't, then, you know, you could always, like I said, go back to manage domains and let's see here. I'm going to open up just another link and we'll go back to the investor's edge. I'll come back here and what I want to do is now I'm in a different screen, different tab. I just want to go back to that domain auctions real quick. All right. So once uh, you're there at the domain auctions, then I go back in and like I said, I mean, I do my normal search and we'll just exclude those. This time we'll say, uh, yeah, we'll f use 15 characters or less. Um, and the good thing is even here with the registry delete, you can also place back orders there um, if you wanted to. I'll just click it just to show you what will happen. So you would have to either have a back order type of public or private, and then you, um, if you don't have any credits, you'll have to buy those credits. But nevertheless, we will do that. Um, only go daddies, and we will click search. And just to show you, it's showing you the available dates that uh, most of those will be on. And so what, let's just look up domain uh, dingo and let's see if we can find that in auction. And as you can see, it is an auction and it has 23 hours remaining. And uh, if you want it to, you could purchase it here right now for $5 plus a one year registration fee or you could try to come here and place the back order for it. And like I said, today is November the 7th, but it would be available um, on the 11th of November. So that's just a little insight um, into a couple different ways. Like I said, you could go with the auctions domain aftermarket, or you could try to do the back order. Um, and so it's just a little unknown tool that most tend not to know about, especially those who aren't into domain investing. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a tool that you should and could use to your advantage. So with that, let me know if you have any questions about this video, please leave questions, comments below the video. Also, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kickstart Commerce. And, um, I basically drop a video every week. And in those videos, I typically cover WordPress tips and tricks, uh, search marketing tips and tricks, as well as uh, domain name investing strategies to help grow your business. Also, please visit um, kickstartcommerce.com and in the right hand column there, subscribe for the daily scoop newsletter where I share a wide range of um, digital strategies to help you grow your business. So with that, thanks. And that's all for now.